Hey everybody, this is LYB Grimhammer here, and I'm gonna bring you a new player friendly guide today. This is a starter guide that's gonna kind of give everybody a brief description of uh, the ins and outs of the game uh, for newer players. Would you like to know more? If so, then this guide is for you. Stay tuned. All right, so you knocked out the tutorial, you knocked out the proven ground matches and stuff, and now you're finally loading into your hangar and you're kind of looking around and you still feel a little lost. Well, here you go. So what we're taking a look at here is I got everything kind of circled out. Um, as you can see up top, you have your uh, captain uh, name and, and, and your title and stuff. If you click on that, it'll bring you your captain cosmetics. Uh, as you see below that, to the left, you have uh, you have a couple little icons there. That'll be your settings, your contracts, and your career progression tabs. Um, in the middle there, you have the play button, which if you start that, it'll start your matchmaking process. Um, below that, you have fleet selection. You can choose to go into veteran. Uh, legendary and recruit matches and after that you have uh, a max selection tab which will let you pick between any onslaught team deathmatch uh, conquest and proving grounds again um, to the right of that we have the uh, three more little icons for the dashboard the friend list and the chat now above that to the right you can see some numbers and stuff up there we have um, in order from left to right we have the free XP uh, credits, then your GP, which is the uh, premium currency of the game. Uh, after that is elite status, and then off to the right there is a squad tab that you can click and open up. Um, and at the bottom there you can see your fleet tabs, which will show your tabs of uh, what ships you have in each fleet, uh, recruit, veteran, and legendary. Um, and below that right there is your battle bonus, which you can buy back on veteran and legendary. Recruit has an unlimited battle bonus, so it'll never it'll never go away. Um, below that you can see your your ships that you have in your fleet uh, and as you can see there on one of the ships I have it circled that is the XP on the current ship all right so now we're gonna take a look at a screenshot in the game now I have pretty much everything circled out here as well so starting at the top here you're gonna see your equipped in modules um, it'll be uh, on your keys from one to four um, that'll be your first, second, third, and fourth module. Uh, once you use one, they'll go into a cooldown process. Uh, the times will different from each module. Um, to the right there, you have your tactical map, which will basically show positions of enemies that have been spotted out or enemies on the field, and show your teammates. Uh, as we move down there, you have the healthier ship, which will go down as you get shot. Uh, each ship has different amounts of health. Uh, to the right of that will be your primary ammo. We'll show how much you have in the remaining clip and the clip size. To the right of that will be secondary ammo. Same with primary. Uh, you'll have the remaining clip and the clip size. Uh, as we move further to the right, you'll see the energy pool of the ship. Now at each tier, the energy pool will change. Uh, each tier has the same amount of energy across all ships. Uh, each ship uses energy in a different way, and as you go up to tier system, the energy level will decrease, uh, will increase from tier 1 to tier 5. You'll get more as you go up a tier. And to the bottom right there, we have the match time left in the match, and then we have the current score of the match that will change depending on, you know, as your team gets kills in team deathmatch, or AI kills in onslaught, so on and so forth. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take a, uh, a quick in-depth look out of the uh, hangar here. So, uh, as I said before, you got your you got your pilot cosmetics here. Uh, you can customize your pilot. You can change your your face, your suit, uh, your headwear, your scarring, uh, tattoos, eyes, and the tint of your suit, which you know changes the color of it and such. Um, so, and you can also change uh, male or female. And then we go from there, we go back, you know, go back to the hangar here. Um, from there, you have the first and the uh, little icons here, which bring up your settings. You can redo the tutorial if you need be. You got customer support here, bug reporter, your benchmarks, uh, your credits, your actual settings, and you can go back to game. Uh, after that, we got the contracts, uh, which, you know, after you complete these, they'll, uh, they'll automatically pop up in the game. You'll be able to uh, accept the payment for them and... After 24 hours, they'll recycle. Uh, if you have elite status, you get four contracts instead of three. Um, next, we'll look at career progression. Uh, that'll bring up the career progression menu. As you do these, you'll get different rewards such as credits, free XP, and some of them will even give you uh, GP, which is the premium currency of the game. All right, so then you look at the middle here. We have the play button, which will start your matchmaking process. Uh, you have your 
recruit, veteran, and legendary fleet. You select which one you want to go into. This will give you this will give you the information about the battle bonus, uh, how much you'll get extra for doing those certain types of fleets. Then you'll bring up your game modes. Uh, this will have any onslaught, team deathmatch, conquest, and proving grounds. Now, in onslaught, you're going to fight AI ships uh, with the teammates, kind of like a team deathmatch with a little added objective. Um, Team Deathmatch is going to be player versus player on teams, 8-man versus 8-man. Uh, Conquest is kind of like a domination capture zone match mode um, where you have an A and B objective that you have to capture while as you move across the map you, uh, you build up what's called influence and it'll show colors on the, the tactical map as you move across and the, the team that controls the most influence and then capture points will win the match. Proven Grounds is basically against AI. It's just a TDM AI, kind of like a practice thing. Use it to test out new builds or, you know, use it to practice with the ship. Um, from there, we'll go to the right side. You bring up your dashboard here. Your dashboard will kind of give you a link to the forums. It'll show you some featured items and new releases in the market. Um, after that, you can bring up your friends list. Here you can add friends. Uh, you can look through your friends list. Uh, this right here, Whisper said friend. This will delete them and this will block them. Uh, currently right now you can only block people on your friends list uh, Next thing you got is your chat. This will bring up the global chat uh, English, you know global uh, When you're in a squad this this tab will bring up your squad chat and this will also bring up your whispers So here you have free XP you can convert free XP using the premium currency GP and it is a 40 to 1 conversion rate right now um, and that's if you need free XP, if you don't mind spending a little extra or yeah, whatever it is to unlock a certain module. Um, same with credits. Credits being earned and match. Um, credits can also be bought too if need be. Uh, premium currency here. Um, this can be earned through career progression or just purchased. Uh, there's a different bundles for that. Uh, elite status can be purchased with uh, GP. And uh, this gives you basically... 100% more XP and 100% more credits every match and this will stack with your battle bonus Also, your team will get a little bonus from you having it as well uh, Here we have the squad tab which you'll open up you can have four members in a squad You click on this and this will act uh, just let you add people from your friends list into your squad All right, and we take a look down here you have the the recruit All right, so you'll have your recruit fleet here um, and as you can see, these this will have your tier ones and tier twos. Uh, you can right-click a ship to remove it from fleet. Uh, you can click here to add any of the ships uh, that are tier one to tier two to recruit fleet. All right, and then um, the same with veteran. Uh, this veteran will have tier threes through tier fours. And then as you can see here, you'll have your experience. Uh, there's all your ships. Uh, then legendary will have tier fours and tier fives. Now, um, that kind of gives you a brief rundown of the hangar. So you can also take a look at the tech tree to see how you're progressing down the tree lines towards any ships that you perhaps want. Now, as a general tip for you guys kind of just starting off, I would recommend taking all the tier ones and the tier twos and playing all of them. Play every ship class, find out what you like the most, and you know give it give everything a try you know try out the healers try out the dreads try out the corvette try out the snipers you know try out the destroyers try everything out and see what you like the most what feels good for you and then after that you can work everything up to tier three you know just give everything that that full-on try get everything to tier three after that you can make that decision on what ship class you like the most and what line you want to go ahead and start going down and making your way to that tier five level now, as you can see here, I have the ship trees pulled up. There's three different manufacturers. You have Jupiter Arms, you have Akula Vector, um, and then you're gonna have Oberon. Um, and each each manufacturer has different, they have different ships, uh, and each, each ship, each manufacturer has kind of like different strengths and weaknesses. So with that, you're gonna want to you know you're gonna want to you're gonna want to go ahead and figure out what ship that you you like the most and work on once you finally do you'll say you want to go ahead with the Jupiter arms destroyer you're gonna go ahead and look in this tech tree you're gonna go ahead and click on it it's gonna bring up your tree for your all your your modules and your 
and stuff like that. So what you got to do here is you got to you got to play matches, you build up experience, and then you're going to unlock a module. Um, and then once you unlock and purchase a module, you'll get a little you'll get a little token here. And after you build up all of them to the full progression, you'll be able to unlock the next ship in line of the class, and you'll be able to go ahead and that's how you that's how you proceed down the tech lines. So once you find out what you want to work on, you go ahead and you just start pushing for that certain thing. So say you want to go Augusta, you go to the Trafalgar. Once you get the Trafalgar, you go ahead and buy a couple modules, get a good build so you can, you know, you can run it in and out of matches. And you work it all the way down to the Entranto, which you'll have to go through the Ballista. But you'll grab the Ballista and you'll just go ahead and go down to the Entranto. And then after that, you, you kind of just keep progressing. Now, another thing I want to touch on briefly here is is officer briefings now officer briefings are something all right so it's something you'll unlock at uh at a later stage uh at tier three and higher is when you'll be able to access officer briefings now officer briefings will dr drastically change how you position and how you play uh, certain ships uh but i'm not going to go touch on that too much because i'm making a guide at a later date that will be really in-depth on officer briefings uh, Pretty much all of them from all ships and so let's go ahead and move over here to the other side you can see here where you can rename your ship uh, as you you'll see up here at the top as well you'll see your ship rank you'll see your ship name uh, if you've renamed it you'll see the current xp for the ship so we go back down here you have loadout a and then you have loadout b these are two separate loadouts for the ship um, below that you have appearance, which you can click on appearance, you can change your color, the color of the ship, your pattern, your front emblem, and then the decal you'll have like on the side of the ship. Uh, you also have the cosmetics here where you can change the way the ship looks, you can make it look like, you know, you can make your gore look like a blood and, and such like that. It's the cosmetic part of the game and coatings, decals and such will be bought with uh, the premium currency, the GP. So as you look down here, you can look at your weapon. You can see the average DPS of it, you can see its maximum range, you can see the, the range where it'll do the most damage, you can see your rate of fire, you can see your clip size, and you can see your reload time. Uh, same with secondary, it's just like touching on the primary, same thing, DPS and such. Uh, here you'll have your primary module, your secondary module, your perimeter module, and your internal module. Each set of these modules have different options. Goliath is a primary module, it's basically a big nuke torpedo. Uh, but you can also always change that out for, you know, Tempest missiles and such like that. So to, to get an idea of that, you can go in up here, click on the tech tree, and you can see all the modules you can unlock for the ship um, and, and purchase them. So let's just say, for example, I want to get Missile Repeaters 5. I can click on Missile Repeaters 5, it'll tell me the max damage. It'll uh, show me the number of missiles, the range, and the cooldown. You can see here a little description video of, of it showcasing the module. Uh, you go down here, you'll purchase it with experience, and then once it's purchased with experience, you can purchase it with credits to completely unlock the module for your ship. Uh, when you purchase a module for the ship, it's going to uh, automatically equip the module onto the ship. So just know that ahead of time, if you buy something that you're looking to use at a later date, and you get it, it's automatically going to replace what you have equipped it, so you want to go ahead and be aware of that. Um, so that pretty much covers the whole in hangar feel. Um, let's go ahead and we'll take a look at the match, kind of getting set up and everything else. All right, so what we're going to do here now, like I said, we're going to kind of hop into a match. You can guys see what's going on. I'm going to go ahead and jump into like a Proven Grounds match. And basically, I'm going to show you guys what, it, what you're looking at when you first load into an actual player match. Um, now, be aware when you're starting off the game, you're brand new, your first couple of matches is what's going to have what's called shelter matchmaking. Um, you're going to be in basically games with a lot of bots and a lot of newer players. So just be aware of that. And you, you, you know, you're going to have a lot of people with you that are also learning the game just as well as you. And uh, after you play a couple of those matches, you'll be introduced into the standard matchmaking mode for recruit. Um, and after you grind your way up, you'll you'll be in a you know veteran queue, legendary stuff like that. You'll be you'll be introduced to a lot more players. So um, as we're about to go ahead and jump into this proven grounds match, I'm gonna go ahead and run down what you're looking, what the menu looks like when you're you're in a match here. So you know what you're looking at when you first get into that match. So as you can see, we're loading in here. 
Um, at the top, right off the bat, you're going to see you know, the listing of all your teammates up there. So you're going to see them all from left to right. You're going to see the ship icon. You see the ship icons. You can see what they're using. You go down. Um, you're going to see your loadouts. Uh, you can highlight. You can kind of like highlight your mouse over them. Look at the different tabs. You can see what's on each loadout. You can click on the loadout and select those. Um, and then pretty much you can do that with all ships. Every time you have a second loadout set up, they'll be there. Once you're ready, you hit space bar and you're ready to go into battle with that selected ship. So thanks everybody for stopping by and watching the starter guide. I hope this helps all you newer players out and hope to see you in the game. Fly safe, everybody.